Shalom and good day. This is the Healing 29 I'm back again, uh, sharing some street art as I'm also on my way to working on collecting my comics for today. I might try to drop back in here again today. Okay, I'm back again and just waiting patiently for All Star Comics to open. I might see if I can try to show you a section that I missed last time uh, when I was here. Okay, so there's my comic haul. <laughs> this is the section that I missed last time. Shalom and good day all. Guess what? I'm finally back from my trip in the city. And yes, this is to Healing 29. Back again. And of course, you can finally get to see what was in the box that they gave me. <laughs> so, I think it's easy to start off with the things that I won't be reviewing this week. And um, also the trades and the manga that I collected. So first things are, first things are off, we've got some Brian Michael Bomb uh, Bendis Phenomena. And I definitely look forward to reading through it. Then we have Volume 2 of Berserker. Uh, Moon Knight, Volume 4 of the Epic Collection, Butcher's Moon. And it's a good thing because by the time this video goes up, um, who knows, maybe I will end up finishing this um, not long after this video goes up for the day that it goes up of course we've got Robin volume 2 which covers Damien Wayne we have World Peace volume 2 look back uh, by the creator of Chainsaw Man Tokyo Revengers uh, Omnibus which covers volume 2 and 4 Shuzo Ashimi's Blood on the Tracks, Volume 10. I'm still waiting for Volume 9. And of course, the last two manga, uh, Spy Family Volume 8. And a big thanks to those who recommended it on their channels. I definitely look forward to checking it out. And last but not least, Shaman King. 
Omnibus Volume 10. Oh my golly goodness. Now, if you happen to live in Australia, definitely check out uh, All Star Comics. Here's my receipt. And um, put that discount code in and you'll get 10% off everything you buy. Uh, moving into the next things, uh, the other comics that won't be reviewed on the channel, but most likely read behind the scenes, and maybe even one or two which might actually be brought up later um, in a different type of review of sorts. So we've got Radiant Black, which I'm going to be finishing this series at issue 20. Um, it had an okay start, but it's just getting to that time where I, I need a break from the series. And I'm going to be finishing it off at issue 20. Uh, moving into the next one, we have Berserker. And I did say that as things got a little bit closer, I might consider reviewing it towards the end. So I might wait until the last two chapters, uh, the last two issues come out, just to see how the story goes. And if I'm still up for wanting to review the last couple of issues. Of course, we move into Nightwing. And of course, the facsimile edition of Action Comics, issue one. Now, for one that will be reviewed um, at the end of the month, which is going to be this one. So it's going to carry over when the DC mech comes out. So I look forward to reviewing that for the next, um, mech battle between DC and Marvel. And I hope you enjoy them as well. And moving into the, the comics this week that I will be reviewing... And of course, they're pretty much in the order which I'm close to wanting to review them in. So we've got Titans United, uh, which will be re reviewed alongside with Deceased War of the Undead Gods. Uh, to which that will probably be the last issue of the Tom Taylor one that I'll be reviewing. Until then, I'll probably be waiting for the soft cover trade to come out. Which will be probably close to 6 to 12 months from happening. Uh, the next two that I'll be reviewing will be The Dark Crisis and The Flash. And last but not least, um, in the DC that I'll be reviewing will be The World's Finest, Batman and Superman. And I really hope you look forward to one of the covers that I managed to get a hold of in relation to that particular, one, particular run. And um, a big thanks and shout out to All Star Comics in Melbourne. Uh, <laughs> I'm speechless. Um, the times that you've helped me out and also helped me get a hold of things, some, uh, and also direct me to where I can get a hold of covers that I that even you might not be able to get. And last but not least, um, for the indies that will be reviewed this week, and quite likely yet around the beginning of the week. We have Samurai Sonya, issue four, and James Tinian, the Force, Wind, which connects to volume three, The Throne in the Sky. Well, until then, let's keep it colourful and have yourself an awesome day. Um, this will most likely go up after the Battle of the Super Suns has been released to the public. And definitely stay tuned for when my review goes up uh, in that time period. So until then, let's keep it colourful and have yourself an awesome day.